Hi guys, it's been a little while since we've done a proper deep dive in whiskey. Um, so I invited the wonderful Miranda Lidgerwood on today. She is a massive whiskey nerd as well and works for Sullivan's Cove Distillery down in Tasmania. So I thought I'd bring her on and pick her brains a little bit and we'll taste a couple of whiskeys because we're just selfless like that. Uh, <laughs> now today we are going to be looking, um, you probably know what single malt is. So that is 100% malted barley whiskey made at a single distillery. But what Sullivan's Cove really specialises in is single cask whisky. So can you give me a little bit of insight into what that is? It would be my pleasure and thank you for having us here on the channel, Cara. We absolutely love it and any excuse to talk about whisky, mm -hmm. I will relish. So yes, as you said, we make single cask whisky down in Tasmania and we've been making it the same way since 1994. Single cask whisky is as it sounds, it's one barrel. A lot of distilleries you'll see, they go for consistency in their product by batting together many barrels and that's a beautiful way to make whisky, but it's just not the way that we do it. We release each and every barrel on its own to celebrate the nuances in it and the individuality of each cask. So there's a lot of processes around that. Managing our barrels is one of the most time consuming things that we do at the distillery, but it is just so worth it when you get to see each one of them blossom in completely different ways. And I think it creates like a really unique experience around drinking the whiskey. Um, you know, sometimes you'll be drinking a bottle and you'll basically know that you won't be able to get that bottle again. So you're like, you know, the occasion, the people that you're with, it creates this really kind of memorable bond with that whiskey. And so Absolutely. I think that's pretty special. It really is. Now, it sounds like that's probably a fair amount of work though. <laughs> What actually goes on behind the scenes um, for you guys to achieve this? Oh wow, okay, so as I said before, a lot of processes, a lot of time. For example, if we've got TD123, this single cask that we're meant to be tasting. So the tasting panel will sit around the table every morning and look at this barrel and say, it's coming along beautifully. You know, the oak structure is really there, but the integration between the oak and the spirit is still a little bit off. Let's see it again in two months. You know, if it's a hot season, maybe we'll see it again in one month. We might check on it every single week if it's really hot or if it's progressing really quickly. So we do that for every single barrel in our bomb store. The sample a lot, has a lot to of be breakfast whiskey. <laughs> a lot of breakfast whiskey. That's right. Distillers going to the bomb store, taking the sample, climbing through, taking the sample out of the barrel, diluting it to drinking strength, putting it on the table. We all sit around the table and taste it for every single cask. So you really do get to know them, and it becomes quite a personal thing. Like I remember when I started at Sullivan's Cove, I would hear people rattling off cask numbers like oh, TD 160, TD 45, and I'm like, how do they remember all these? And you really do. You you start to get to know their individual personalities and you really do watch them grow up and kind of blossom. It's a beautiful <laughs> way to interact. Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, who needs kids when you can have whiskey barrels? Exactly, but you still gotta wait till they're 18 to see if they're gonna turn yeah, out okay. Yeah, <laughs> very true. Now, obviously with this, the um, the actual barrels that they're in have a massive influence on your whiskey. Yeah. Uh, you guys kind of split um, your your kind of range down the line of, of American oak and French oak. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say are the differences that you can kind of see there? we want to have a little taste so we Let's can talk that through, that would be fun. So I'll start off with American oak. As you guys would know, American oak comes, uh, well, our, most of our American oak barrels come largely from the American whiskey industry over in the States. So these have previously been used to mature bourbon in most cases, but we also have a few, quite a few barrels in our bomb store that were virgin oak when we received them. So the character of American oak is think beautiful baking spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, caramels. You've got a lot of vanilla in there and of course a lot of coconut. We love American oak for its coconut. Yeah. The herbal side of American oak, you start to see things like green tea, dill pickle even. It's a really fun <laughs> oak varietal. Um, let's have a little, let's have a little yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. So this one that we've got here is TD245. It is bottle number 12 of 196 and we've bottled it at 46.5%. So that's another thing that we do to treat each of these casks as an individual is an ABV trial. We'll taste it from Yeah, because a lot of places will do like cast strengths, like single cask, cast strength. So mm -hmm. just like straight from the barrel, straight into the bottle. Whereas you yep. guys do take the time to sort of figure out where that individual barrel is gonna taste best, right? Absolutely, and yeah. they're all different, they're all different. Yeah. So sometimes we'll, we'll taste it from 46% all the way up to 52. Sometimes it drinks well at 52, sometimes it's 47, you know, and, yeah. and they get bottled where they drink the best. So. Yeah. It's so rich and delicious, it's like sticky date pudding, yes. I feel. Oh, yeah. oh, that's classic American oak right there. <laughs> and then we've got our French oak. So mm. French oak, uh, Coopers love it, because it's a really bendy kind of porous wood, so yeah. they can, 
you know, bend it into the shape of a barrel really easily, whereas American oak is a bit stiff and it's less porous, but that does mean it's better for long-term maturation. It's not as leaky, so we can get to those bigger age statements a bit more easily. Um, French oak characteristics, you get things like really aromatic spices, think like uh, cardamom, uh, sandalwood, incense, and also the tannin structure is really, really cool from French oak. You get these firm and linear tannins and a beautiful overall structure. Um, you guys would know a lot about that from wine as well. You know, you can just apply that same logic yeah. to whiskey. It's got that real elegance that just kind of takes right through to the back and yeah. Yeah, really nice and spicy as well. That's right. And do, you, do you have a favorite? Oh, can you say or don't no? make me. <laughs> I, I couldn't pick a favorite overall, but I can pick favorite casks yeah. from here or there. Which and I guess is the point, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, our French oak casks, most of them have been used to previously mature tawny as well. Yeah. So Australian tawny port uh, is just this beautiful, sticky, sweet pre-fill that I think works so so wonderfully with our spirit as well. Definitely. Well, thank you very much. No this worries. is a, this is also morning for us here, so a good little way to start the day. Yeah. Um, that was very delicious. Uh, now I am keeping Miranda around for a little minute. We're going to be looking um, at kind of a pretty special kind of cask that um, Sullivan's Cove use, uh, which is kind of their best kept secret. So make sure that you've liked and subscribed and all of that good stuff if you want to hear a little bit more. And thank you so much for coming in. No worries. Thank you. So now you have to do my sign off. So now you know. <laughs> <laughs>